here off to the side, uh, or I should say this guy off to the side, he gives you something later once you've got a so and so many shine sprites. I don't want to spoil what it is later, but I just thought I would mention that now, otherwise people are going to tell me about that later, because they'll think I don't know about it or something like that. But, uh, yeah. So, let's just get started here. You'll notice that there's a river here, and, uh, I'll show you what the first... Well, I'll, I'll do it on the land here. I don't get it, but anyway, your, up, your objective is to go over to this over here, and you guessed it, it's yet another goopy piranha boss. And it's defeated the exact same way. Spray in its mouth when it opens. Yeah. Of course, you've got these critters here in your way, too, which doesn't make it any harder, honestly. And uh, somehow I killed that when I was side flipping, which is kind of cool, um, along this lighthouse area in a counterclockwise fashion, hovering around these areas as you go. It's not hard to do it whatsoever. This might be a little tricky because you got to go around those thorns. And if you ever spray these M's, you'll get blue coins, as I said, but I'll get into the blue coins later. Oh, this is the guy I was talking about. Um, if you come here and talk to him early on, after you defeat that Goopy Piranha in uh, Episode 1, you will... I mean, he'll say something like... Hey there, PD Piranha! Uh-oh. Massive weight. You need to go on a diet. Oh, poop. Mario, get off the top! I told you to get off the top. Um, I recommend you clean off this scoop on the floor there. Uh, just so there aren't any of those pink critters going after you. And when he opens his mouth, just spray water in it until he gets bloated. And then ground pound his belly like that. And that's his weakness. All you have to do is do that three times. And that's really all there is to it. So, uh, come on, spray some goop, or try and spray some goop. Well, I, actually, I should show you. If you don't spray in his mouth when he has his mouth open, he'll vomit out. What you do is go across these platforms like this, but you can actually triple jump and... You can actually triple jump and wall jump off that wall to get up on top of that ledge over there. But, for the sake of exploration, I'm going to do it the normal way. Just go across here and climb onto this grate here. Yes, this is a Super Mario World reference. And just go skill you're supposed to do here. But yeah, this is Gelato Beach. It's very pretty. And uh, you can spray these things to make things pop out of the ground like that. Woo! And that's basically how you find the sandcastle. <laughs> but, and remember I said that they just showed the correct one that you're supposed to spray? Uh, yeah, that's the correct one. And those things are called cataquacks. They flip you up in the air. The red ones cause damage, the blue ones don't. Uh, you can spray them and stomp on them. Where, though? Was it one of these nails? I always think it's the nails that hide one-ups. There's probably, like, only the first one that has that. Oh, there is one there! Yay! The other one, I mean, that other one probably just has coins, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I would highly doubt that they would put two one-ups right next to each other so close. And just keep running across here. This isn't that hard at all. And since you don't have your flood, though, you have to be careful. Now, your objective is to get up there. See that where it's shining just above the... Well, you basically have to hold down the button all the way. And the saying a bullet bill is approaching from behind. You just have to shoot them to stop them from attacking you. And uh, that's basically it, yeah, really. All you have to do is hit them with the uh, owl. I did not pay attention there. All you have to do is hit them with missiles, and that's really all there is to it. Bounce the water. What the heck? I... Whatever. <laughs> and let's try that again. Success! This boss battle is not hard whatsoever. Yoshi on the loose, and it's vomiting everywhere! It's vomiting everywhere! Use Yoshi! Use the garbage cans like everyone else! Dear Lord, man, you're making a mess of everything! Oh, Yoshi's coming here this way! No, Yoshi, don't vomit! Pieces like that. Um... As a side note, I believe the name of this, uh, ah, name of this boss is Phantom Manta or something like that, or Phantom Manta. 
I, I don't quite remember. It's definitely not the Mantha Storm, that's for sure. Oh, and by the way, leave these coins underneath these Cabana uh, Huts here until you need them, if you even need them. So, yeah, it's pretty handy to keep them like that, as you've just seen there. Because I was being pretty careless, and yeah, you get the idea. And, uh, so, uh, no, let me get them down by the, I mean, get down by the beach there, and then start, uh, splitting up the little ones. You shouldn't have much trouble taking care of, uh, the remainder of them, especially when you can just refill your water down at the water, you know, the beach water itself. And, uh, magically, somehow, it makes the hotel go into the ground, that goop or whatever the heck that was over there, and these guys are all extremely exasperated about this whole event, and no, it's not a prank. How can you possibly fake a hotel going underground unless you can make that pink like goop? <sighs> and I don't even know how to make that pink like goop without the magic brush. Anyway, grab the shine and get out of here.